Hello YouTubers! This channel is all about RV living, traveling, and do-it-yourself projects. Please hit the subscribe button below. Hello YouTubers! Today I want to tell you about my previous battery failure. I had just returned from a two-week trip to California. I was looking for something and opened the back doors of the RV and I noticed right away the voltage uh, at the refrigerator was reading 24 volts and it should have been reading 28 volts. I have a refrigerator set to shut down when the voltage gets below 25 volts. So even though the refrigerator shuts down, uh, it still has a voltage reading of the battery. This refrigerator is connected as a 24 volt refrigerator and it connects directly to the battery. So the inverter's not on, nothing's on uh, when I'm not using the RV except for the refrigerator and the solar panel has always kept it uh, at the 28 volts I have it set at. So I knew I had a bad cell. I also knew to repair it was not going to be an easy task. Uh, and that's the reason I redesigned the holder. I had another trip. I was set to leave in the RV in a couple of days, so I had to do something quick. I checked all seven cell voltage in the center cell of 100 18650 batteries was very low. So I plugged in the RV to the shore power and turned on the charger. In less than an hour, it charged up. I let it sit overnight and checked it again the next morning. Again, the voltage was down to 24 volts. I knew then that I had to replace the battery quick to be ready for this trip in a couple of days. But I thought this would be a good opportunity to test the fuses. So I turned the charger on and let it charge for about two hours. I went out to check on the battery and I heard these pinging noises. I imagined it, that those noises was the fuses blowing. I turned off the charger, disconnected the battery from the inverter, and I still heard these pinging noise and it like tire pressure releasing from these batteries. I knew I had a major problem. So I turned off the charger and disconnected from the inverter and all the power in the other six cells were discharging fast to this bad cell even though this battery was connected to nothing they were still connected in series and they were discharged all of these batteries all 700 were discharging from a few cells in this bad 100 cell pack and the center cell was hotter than a firecracker I immediately started disconnecting the batteries in series and removing each cell. When I got to the bad cell, it was so hot I had to get a glove to remove it from the RV. I set it on the concrete and a minute later it blew. It blew like a three second rocket motor. I started clipping the fuse wires on the cell that had just blown and waited till it cooled down. After all the excitement, I started checking voltage on each of the cells I had removed. This cell that had blown was zero. It had completely discharged. The other six cells were overcharged and read 4.3 volts. So what did I learn from this? I learned that fuses need to do what they are designed to do. If they do not, these batteries can be dangerous. If you do not use a BMS regularly, check your cell voltage. So what happened? Well, what I think happened was when I went out to charge the second day, the center cell had fully discharged to zero. And the other cells were actually holding their charge and they were around full charge of 4.0. And uh, if you take the uh, seven cells times 4.0 it, it equals the, the voltage that I had set the charger for for 28 volts. The uh, With that one cell being zero, even though the other six cells were fully charged or charged to 4.0, uh, that one cell that was discharged was drawing the other batteries down and the total battery charge was reading at 24 volts. <clears throat> and when I started charging, the uh, 
charger was dumping 20 amps into the battery for those two hours. And they were charging those, it was charging at 28 volts. And uh, it did not know there was a cell missing. And so it overcharged those other six cells and they were discharging as fast as I was putting power in out this one bad cell. And uh, I tried to calculate many times how many amps were going through there trying to figure out why it did not blow that fuse. And it was probably getting close to the 10 amps, but I did not have one fuse blow. Now this shot here is uh, what the cells looked like. There were seven of these in there. And what is strange is the one that fell was in the center cell in the center of the pack. And uh, as you'll see here, the cell that blew was an odd colored battery. It was a purple battery. I remember at the time when I was putting these in there, this one tested fine, but it had no markings and no identifiers to pull a data sheet up on it. So <clears throat> that battery may have been a Chinese battery. I don't really know. But as you see here, that cell got extremely hot. Surprisingly, the PLA uh, that I printed those holders in, it held up much better than I thought it would have. But when that cell blew, it blew out a flame as big around as that cell, out three feet, and it burned for over 10 seconds. And it was a white hot fire. When I built the battery box, I did line it with fire blanket um, uh, and, uh, so if this would have actually blew inside the van, there was a little bit of de defense against the fire, but not as much heat that was coming out of here. When this blew, there was a water hose sitting in front of it and it burnt that water hose in half. Well, that is my battery fail. Uh, it got pretty interesting when that fire was shooting out. Uh, I almost caught my, my leg, my blue jeans on fire that I was wearing that day. But I hope you found this interesting. Um, I can't stress the safety of fusing these. That fuse wire I was referring to that you saw in those pictures, it is fuse wire I purchased from Europe. It was actually 3 amp fuse wire. And I learned later from some tests that Average Joe had done is that that fuse wire was not blowing till 10 or more amps. Uh, I still think <clears throat> this cell was pulling more than 10 amps, as hot as it got, but uh, it never blew the fuse. I had to reach in there around those cells and, and cut all those fuse wires uh, loose. If you found any interest in, in, in this uh, video, please uh, hit the subscribe button and the like button. And until next time, check you later.